Craig here and I'm creating a quick video to give you an update on the video how to build a website from scratch. Now I had a lot of positive feedback from this video and the theme that's used in the video was iFeature 4.5. Now so I'm assuming that most of you went with this theme because that's what the video was about. Now a couple of weeks ago iFeature came out with version 5 and like most people would when you see an update is available you will update. Now if you update it, your whole layout has changed and you're probably in a bit of a mess. Now to show you what I'm talking about, this is the website that we built in the video and it's, this is version 4.5. Now if you clicked update, your website theme layout is probably going to look more like this now. Like we have some additional new features like a big slider and some boxes etc. But the whole layout has changed and you know you may want to revert back to the old version. Now currently there's no way to just select the theme version and revert back so I'm going to show you how you can do this the kind of manual way. So first of all I'm going to jump over to my website and this is WA Invite and this is the one which we're looking at right here. So as you can see it says free updates are available and it sees free themes. So I'm just going to give you an example of what would have happened. If you hit update themes, the theme gets updated and then if we refresh this page, yeah, that's it. That's our new website. <laughs> so, you know, like for me, I know a lot about WordPress, so it's pretty easy for me to figure out how to revert back. But if you don't know how, this is how you can revert back to the 4.5 theme. So first off, if we go to WordPress.org and the iFeature page, you can only download 5.0.4. But if you look at the URL in the lower left corner here, you can see that the URL always includes the version number. So what I'm going to do is download version 4.5.3.1. Now I'll put this link below the video so that you can download it. Basically, we're just going to hit enter and download the theme to our computer. There we go, it's downloading to our computer. Now for us to be able to upload and install this theme, we have to go inside our hosting and delete the iFeature theme that's currently installed. Now you can do this via FTP or via the file manager. Now I'll quickly show you how to do it both ways. So with FTP, this is FileZilla, it's a free program. And I've connected to my hosting and I'm inside wainvite.com. I'm going to double click WP content and themes. Let me just refresh this. And now we have I feature. Now this is the theme folder and I want to delete it. Now I would just right click and press delete. Or if you're more comfortable doing this via HostGator's control panel, you simply log in, scroll down until you find file manager. And you want to open the document root for the domain name where your website is installed and click go. And we're going to double click the WP content themes. And now we have the I feature. So we'll select it and we'll hit delete and delete files and it's gone. So now we can come over to our website and we're going to go to appearance themes, install themes, and we're going to hit upload. And now we have to choose the file and basically navigate to where we downloaded it to. So we're going to select it and press open and install. Now if we didn't delete the theme via FTP or the file manager, it would give us an error and it would tell us something like the destination folder already exists, unable to install. So you must complete that step. So I'm going to hit activate. And now we're going to come back over here and we'll hit this link to reload the page. And there we are, we've restored the website layout and basically that's how you do it. So if you run into any problems, feel free to post a comment and I'll try and help you out. Uh, a side note, I'm going to be creating some other videos using different themes. Uh, one of the videos is going to show you how to create a local business website because this theme here is more of a blog style looking website. Now I want to create one for like a local business and show you how you can do that. 
So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Have a great day.